Hello everybody. I would like to demonstrate the installation of GNU Health on OpenSUSE. I have here a brand new installation of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed is the rolling release of uh, OpenSUSE. Uh, it comes already shipped with GNU Health. The same is with OpenSUSE Leap 42.2. This is the standard released version. Uh, which gets updated basically every year with a larger new distribution release. Uh, this comes with uh, GNU Health pre-installed as well. The installation method between the two distributions, Tumbleweed and Leap, is basically the same. Um, on my Tumbleweed installation here I have a light white desktop, it's Enlightenment. Um, for the installation and setup of GNU Health that doesn't really matter. So, what do we need to do? We go to the software management tool Yoast. Um, it asks us for the password. I enter the password and Yoast comes up. I uh, apologize, this, this installation is in German, um, but we go for software installation. Screen comes up and refreshes first of all the repositories. So, done. Now we can look for the software that we would like to install. I enter GNU Health. Um, there it is. And GNU Health is only the server component. If I want to have a Triton front end, the, the front end to work with, which is from the Triton server, I uh, have to install it additionally. So I enter Triton. And I see there are a couple of programs already pre-selected. These belong to the Triton server, which is a part of New Health. And here on the bottom we have the client of the Triton application platform. I select this as well. Say accept. Uh, it's being downloaded. Triton is being downloaded and everything is installed. I can end this and I can close the control center as well. <coughs> so technically the installation is done. What I need to do now is to configure the database and the server. Um, question is what do we do have to do? Um, if you don't have an idea it's always a good thing to look for the documentation and the documentation comes with um, in, the, in, the, in the usual folder this is user share doc packages and we go for GNU health There is a GNU Health readme.suse. I open it with the editor. And at first, we have a section there how to get it running without reading the instructions. Probably uh, the most important section on that. So, what do we have to do? Um, we need to log in as root and start the database. So, logging in as root. It's quite simple, SU, enter the password, there we are. And then we need to start the Postgres server. I copy just the command line over here and say system control start Postgres. So let me check whether Postgres has came up correctly. Status. That looks good, basically. <coughs> so now, to make life a little bit easier, 
uh, we want to change the Postgres settings in that way that access to the database from any of the local applications works without further authentication. Uh, to do that, we need to log on as user Postgres. From the root, from the admin user, we can easily do that with su postgres. Here we are. And then we have to edit the configuration file, which is in var lib pgsql data pghba.conf. So I scroll down to the line where we have to go, connections from local, we say OK, trust it. Control X, a safety entry. And second of all, we need a role for the user under which the Triton server, New Health, is running. And by default, the Triton server is running under the user Triton. So we need to create a role for this user in the database with the authority to create a database. So if I enter the command line, it says create role. So at that point in time, I'm done with the setup of the Postgres database. So I can exit as user Postgres and in order to take this, uh, to make these changes working, I need to restart the PostgreSQL server. It is done. Let's check the status. That looks good. So that's it about for the setup of uh, the database. So now we need to apply a little bit configuration for, um, for the Triton server. And in order to do so, um, we need to edit the file etc triton tritond.conf. Here we are. There are a couple of settings. Um, most settings you don't need to change just for the testing purposes here. Uh, nevertheless, it's recommended that you take a look what the various settings are. Um, in case we want to create a database from the front end, we need to use a super password. Uh, we have here the token for the super password admin given. Um, for my demonstration, it's okay to use admin. Uh, please do never do this in the wild. Always set your own password. So I've enabled the super password. I save it again. Done. So now what we can do is we start the Triton server. System CTL start Triton D. That seems to work very quickly. See, I check the status and it says, okay, I've started the Triton server. So next step is install the Triton client. I did that already and uh, now I need to open it. There are various ways. I can do it from the command line or I go to the, uh, um, the applications. I choose my office applications. And here I find the Triton client. So if I click onto it, the client comes up and it asks me for a profile. <coughs> so I go into the profile manager. Uh, first of all, it checks for the data demo database. It finds it. Uh, but this is just the, the Triton database. I will add a GNU Health local a new profile and the host that I use is my local host this is my own PC and what it comes here it checks uh, the server it sees it running and it all immediately offers me to
create a database. So I do this now, I click on create. So first it asks me for the Triton server password. Uh, we know it all, it's admin. So then I need to create the database um, itself. I call it GNU health underscore demo. Um, I will install this in English and the admin password I set to test. And then I say create and this now takes a little while because it has to do a little bit of work in the background. We can here see on this little icon that the access to the hard disks is heavily working. So of course what you also could do is for example um, import the GNU Health demo database or create a demo database out of a script. So it is finished now. It has created the database GNU Health demo with the user admin. I go in and enter the password. It is tests. It connects. And now we come to the module configuration with it. So with this, I would uh, like to finish the current set, uh, the, the, the current session. Uh, what we've seen, how easy it is to install GNU Health on OpenSUSE. Uh, what we've seen as well, that there are only a few steps necessary to set up the database and the user, and we get immediately a working system. Have fun and see you later. Bye-bye.